This is the pretty square of Alama de Granada with bars, restaurants and this wonderful square where we have all our local festivals. The lovely old square with their patios for all year round outside dining. Alama has its 16th century church and water fountains and the countryside beyond which is all accessed via this stunning gorge on which the town was built with its mountains in the distance and the gorge which historically powered five flour mills and leads round into the old walled part of this historic Moorish town and it's where we're going to see a wonderful house constructed many many years ago in the old part of this ancient Moorish city. The gorge continues and wraps all the way around the old part of town which we're going to enter now to see this fabulous old townhouse. Making our way up towards the property through these amazing streets to the largest of the churches in town with this flooring created by craftsmen on hands and knees. No geometric computer generated programs just old-fashioned know-how and hard work leading to the church itself which can be seen from the house and just a few meters walk following the stone path brings us into the oldest square and would have been originally the center of town from the old prison to the houses, grain store, banks and streets containing the names of all the existing trades at the time of the butchers, the fishmongers and the cobblers here to the old fountain. And just off that main square is the original Queen's Hospital which we walk past which has its original Moorish centre patio with open roof very typical of the style and similar to what exists in the Alhambra Palace and brings us into one of the very oldest streets in town the large white building on our left would have been the original convent and the small cottage townhouse we're going to come and see is here just further down this street which was originally occupied and used by the nuns who lived close by let's take you to the house now okay so arriving down the pretty little street we talked about the old convent and the hospital and this particular house belonging to the nuns of the convent is officially the narrowest little street in town where even the graffiti is done in stone and very pretty and here beyond these local carpenter made wooden doors is this fabulous little townhouse let's take you inside okay great sound of the wooden doors closing this is the entrance hall this house has been fully modernized 
in the 80s for the current owner's mum with all the doors and windows being made by local carpenters and as you can see the original stone archway here leading down from the hallway left here into the bodega, the wine cellar and just here in the entrance hall too we have a small and very useful clock room WC. Okay so just a thought standing here the stone has been opened and clean but if you can picture the bottom of this stone pillar here on the other side here behind where that little chair is is the bottom of the other stone pillar so that stone arch opened up will come all the way down and then this little corner piece here where the small window is which led into which leads now into what was the original place where they stored the wine ready before it was bottled to go downstairs could all be opened up and going through the door in front of us into another space and out into the courtyard which I'll show you in a second so just hold that thoughts with having this full open arched stoneway up these wonder terra, wonderful terracotta stairs and I'll take you down into the little wine cellar okay so the stone arches continue down here remember just like in a cave the arched ceiling always bears more weight and gives more structural support than straight up and across columns stairs cut into the natural cone steps should I say down into this area so obviously this was where the wine was laid to rest to cool cold meats and things were stored but it is big enough also uh, to store bikes outdoor furniture and anything else that you might need okay so let's take you up and see some of the area we've been talking about okay so coming through the arch you can see the door opening on our left and this room was used solely for storing or creating laying the wine to rest on these there's a concrete cube here and on the other side here you can see that they've made a small low wall at the same height not supporting anything not connecting anything into the wine cellar this was just two supports to be able to put beams across to be able to support the barrels when the wine was laid to rest before bottling and here you can see where the arch would continue down and my thoughts and only mine are not always right it would be great to take this non-supporting wall out here and even possibly open through this wall here at the back and here I would create a fabulous open kitchen area which then coming out of the room would open up into here or even just open up around this big supporting pillar to just take this wall out leave the supporting pillar of course and then we've got this great little room which could be a small little cosy lounge to go and eat outside one of the existing barrels from the days of wine making and again great clean walls completely rewired and replumbed in the 80s not brand new today or certainly in the last 10 years but it is all in really good condition and we are dealing with more modern services coming out into the back into this great little natural stone courtyard here there was an old little shed for the mule that would have been kept 
out here and the concrete base obviously makes a great hard standing now for tables and chairs and just coming around the door you can see here this was the original wash sink so obviously there's water and services here which are then plumbed through the floor out to the main street so this is the ground floor which i think would make a great little very cute and cozy sort of live open day living kitchen area with these fabulous features including the post still in the wall where the mule would have been tethered to be fed or groomed or saddle off or whatever before taking out side to the store back towards that amazing stone arch to go up these wonderful tiled traditional steps to the first floor which we'll see now coming up the stairs all continue with the same traditional tiling in amazing condition into this first of what would be a traditional lounge for an older Spanish family lots of furniture as always but a reasonable size room which steps down over the entrance hall into a nice bedroom double opening windows with a small balcony onto that wonderful little street walls ceilings all great condition a few steps down into this room okay various thoughts this to me could be um, a first floor bedroom and bathroom obviously this room is over that entrance hall and that small uh, shower sorry beg your pardon uh, WC cloakroom and also you'll see that we could then probably take plumbing straight down through there for a bathroom leaving us with a bedroom and bathroom on this floor if required stairs taking us up to floor number two once again great fabulous marble stairs leading us up to this small landing which has rather a nice view of the church tower with the bells the blue skies and the rooftops around and beyond the little sloping roof here back down into our courtyard okay for those that might be allergic to bells they don't start well seven in the morning and they are finished by midnight they do not go on all night because certainly in this location you will hear them okay coming through floor number two very similar size footprint of the room downstairs as you can see this has been used as a dining room of which is a small kitchen now the fridge freezer is taking up a little bit of room here but it wasn't here it was actually situated in front of the window but I wanted to open the window up so you could see it so underneath the cloth there you'll see on the um, still photography is a little bit of a dusty gas hob there is a gas boiler that obviously works from a gas bottle and units in here which I'm sure we would want to update but they're perfectly clean with a double stainless stink, uh, sink unit so usable at this time window once again out onto the front street and the blue skies and rooftops beyond off the kitchen as would have been in traditional in the day is a bathroom remember we did say completely renovated in the 80s and although it's in immaculate condition this uh, bathroom suite as you can see is definitely typical of the time but the bathroom itself is fully tiled there is a full bath with shower attachment 
very nice condition pedestal sink, loo and a bd with a window for both natural light and for ventilation. And finally this is the door we've just come out to for the kitchen and again off this dining room which also has wonderful light coming in from this large window there's a couple of steps up into this area of built-in wardrobes which comes through into another bedroom once again with large natural windows built-in storage cupboards here as you can see room for a, a double bed and bedside units Our bigger wardrobes in here with storage that have been packed up from the family before the property is sold and once again from this window as we in the same perspective from over the stairs we've got this great view out over the church tower and the rooftops of our neighbours okay I hope you love this wonderful little townhouse it is very much of its time with modern wiring and more modern appliances. We're not dealing with bell wire in the walls and uh, non-standard plumbing fixtures which would have been here prior to the 80s and it is in the most desirable antique and historic part of this wonderful town. I'll leave you with the view of our wonderful church and I would love to show you this property in person as soon as you can get here.